Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about representing an inverse function through table of values and graph. Okay, so let's have our first example. Illustrate the graph of the given 1 to 1 function and its inverse. So ang given 1 to 1 function natin is f of x equals 2x plus 1. So, ang una natin gawin guys is kunin muna natin yung kanyang inverse function. Okay? So, since si f of x is same lang naman ni y, so pwede natin i-rewrite yung ating given function to y equals 2x plus 1. Tama? So, after natin ma-rewrite yan, ang gagawin naman natin is interchange natin si x and y. Okay? So, si y magiging x. Then, si x naman natin magiging y. Tama? Then, after natin magawa yan, guys, solve natin si y in terms of x. So, dito, pwede natin uh, ilipat si positive 1 sa left side ng ating equation. So, we have x minus 1 equals to y. Okay? Then, next is isolate natin si y by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. Okay, so mga cancel out natin to. So this time meron tayong y equals x minus 1 all over 2. Okay? So since na-solve na natin si y, so ito na ngayon guys yung ating inverse function ng ating 1 to 1 function. Okay? So inverse function is equals to x minus 1 all over positive 2. Okay? So, ito na ngayon guys yung gagamitin natin dito sa taas. So, ngayon after natin makuha guys yung ating inverse function, ang gagawin naman natin is gawan or gawin yung kanyang table of values. Okay? So, sa pag-construct ng ating table of values, gagamit tayo ng or mag-a-assign tayo ng mga x values. Then, isasolve natin si f of x or yung ating y. Tama? So, unahin natin yung ating original function. So, first, pwede tayo mag-assign ng mga x value. So, try natin si negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay? So, para makuha natin, guys, yung ating mga corresponding y value, isa-substitute lang natin yung ating na-assign na x value dito, guys, sa ating original function. Okay, so try natin. So, negative 2 times 2, that's negative 4, plus 1, so we have negative 3. Okay? So next, negative 1 times 2, that's negative 2, plus 1, negative 1. Okay? So next, 0 times 2, that's 0, plus 1, Positive 1. Then 1 naman times 2. That's positive 2 plus 1. We have 3. Okay? Then last, positive 2. Positive 2 times 2. That is 4 plus 1. So meron tayong 5. Okay guys? So ngayon, after natin magawa yung table of values ng ating f of x, Makukuha na rin natin guys yung table of values ng ating inverse function. Okay, so kung tandaan nyo, doon sa ating previous video, yung domain ng ating original function, yun yung range ng ating inverse function. Tama? Then yung range ng ating uh, original function, siya naman yung domain ng ating inverse function. So, ibig sabihin, kukopihin na lang natin yung ating table of values. So, try natin. So, ang domain natin dito, we have negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So, siya yung range ng ating inverse function. So, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Nakuha, guys? So, next yung... Range naman ng ating original function, yung negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, 5, yan naman guys yung magiging domain ng ating 
inverse function. So, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3, 5. Nakuha guys? So, dito, so dito mapapansin nyo na yung ating x is same nung y dito sa kanyang inverse. Then, yung y natin is same nung x nung kanyang inverse. Okay? So, after natin guys magawa yung ating um, table of values, pwede na natin siyang i-plot dito sa ating Cartesian plane. Okay? So, unahin natin guys yung ating um, original function. Okay? So, una, meron tayong coordinate na negative 2, 3. So, dito natin makikita yan, guys, sa may quadrant 3. Negative 2, negative 3. Okay? Followed by negative 1, negative 1. So, ito yan. Next, we have 0, 1. So, 0, then positive 1. Next, we have 1, comma 3. So, 1, comma 3, quadrant 1. Then, last is yung 2, 5. Okay? So, nandito yan. Nakuha? So, ito na ngayon, guys, yung graph ng ating original function. Okay? So, next, graph naman natin yung ating inverse function. So, first coordinate natin, we have negative 3, negative 2. So, nandito yan guys, sa may quadrant 3. Followed by negative 1, negative 1. Next, we have 1, 0. Next, we have 3, 1. Then, last natin, meron tayong 5, 2. Okay? So, pag kinonect natin lahat ng dots, meron din tayong straight line. So, ito naman guys, yung graph ng ating inverse function. Okay, so naiintindihan ba guys kung paano mag-graph ng, uh, ng mga functions? So, what do you notice guys on the graph ng ating original function and ng ating inverse function? Okay, so as you can see, yung graph ng ating... Um, Original function is symmetric Okay, doon sa ating inverse function With respect to y equals x Okay, so nasan ba yung ating y equals x? So, ang graph ng ating y equals x guys is nandito Okay, dadaan sa origin Then 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5 Okay so, as you notice, symmetric siya dyan. Pag sinabing symmetric, para siya nagmi-mirror. Okay, guys? So, ibig sabihin, pag graph natin yung ating original function at yung kanyang inverse function, lagi siyang, guys, symmetrical kay y equals x. Okay? Okay? So, naiintindihan ba guys kung paano mag-represent ng 1 to 1 function in terms of table of values and graph? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba kunin yung ating uh, table of values and kung paano ba ito i-graph. Okay? So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!